Pero pag ganun, how do you do it? Uh, may, may, may particular setup ba na may kailangan din ba sila na napasok na pera or dahil industrial partner, they just get shares tapos wala na sila kailangan ipasok. Ano yung normal rule of thumb dun, especially for mga kababayan sa atin na walang idea pa on how to do it. Sa industrial partner, meron din ba ano yung magandang iset na at least shares na yung stake niya sa company, may, may threshold ba yun? Minimum number that you can give them, maximum number that you can give them. Pag ganun ba, are they required since may shares naman na sila are they required na magkaroon din ng sweldo or kahit wala na sila sweldo tapos they earn from dividends later on kasi I assume normally sa mga startups no majority of the people who are starting it hindi nagpapasweldo hindi muna sila sumisweldo hindi sila tumatanggap ng salary rule of thumb do you have to give them salary or kita na lang din sila later on if the business does well subscribe to Coach Marvin's channel. Okay, smash the bell guys. Enjoy the video. We're gonna interview Pablo Santos. Enjoy. So, I'm still here in Dubai and as always, we interview Filipinos who have made it in life <laughs> and who are doing well either here in Dubai or are investing and doing business that from, I hope no, from what they say, what they share, it also inspires you na hindi mo naman kailangan maging employee forever or while you are an employee, you are developing a side hustle or you are in a business or you are investing as well and it can be done and that's the whole context of this video series so that it inspires you and encourages you. So we have Pablo Santos, you've seen him in I think, I think more than five videos already in this channel. We've talked about a numerous number of things and we're gonna drill in more in his life and his business and everything else that he's been doing uh, this year. So, Pablo Santos, yes, what's your what's your latest update right now? Kumusta buhay natin yun? Yes, hi everyone. Um, <laughs> ito, uh, empleyado pa rin. Okay. Uh, corporate Steve, sabi nga nila, here in the UAE, hmm. OFW, but of course, we are all uh, aspiring uh, to be, uh, uh, to get out of the uh, the, the rat race and uh, also to become an entrepreneur someday like okay. Coach Marvin. But you are an entrepreneur already. We had a video uh, that uh, you have King Dragon. Tama ba? King Dragon KD? Drag yeah, yes, King Dragon. King Dragon yeah, uh, yes. business venture where you are exposed into agriculture. Yes? Yes. Farming? Farming. Okay, so, yeah. how, so how does it go now? For people like you who are in Dubai, you are overseas, how can you start an agri venture even if you are outside? Ano yung paano niyo ginawa? How did you make it? How did you make it work? I'll put I'll try to put a link below so for people who want to know more about KD. Pero for those who don't know paano siya gawin kasi yung mahirap pag nasa madami rin naman totohanan lang, madami rin naman nalulugi ng negosyo kasi yes. hindi na lang kaya bantayan eh. So paano niyo na paano mo na set up yun? How, how how can it be done? Yeah. In fact, uh, lima kami dito sa business namin and uh, it all started uh, with the financial literacy because all of us, all the five par partners are um, uh, re registered financial planner and associate financial planner in Dubai. And the, the most important thing is because we have an industrial partner who are uh, uh, taking care of the business, uh, they are uh, overlooking, overseeing the operation, yung farm namin sa Pilipinas. Uh, in fact, we are... Uh, trying to expand uh, like uh, in Ilocos, Batangas as well as in Pampanga this time and sa lahat ng farms namin meron kaming industrial partner which, is, which are all trusted partners coach. So the key, so that's your suggestion, the key is pag abroad kayo get an industrial partner? That's right. So yun ang importante because of course uh, they are uh, uh, doing all the operations, sales, marketing, hmm. logistics, uh, so andito kami, of course, to guide them and okay. uh, la later, uh, they're going to update and report everything, of course, uh, sa company, sa mga partners. But uh, yung trust nat namin sa kanila is 100% uh, okay. That's why we always have to uh, first uh, select and uh, try to find talaga yung best partner na mag mag So, pero how do, you, how do you know kung paano nyo maka... Sa mga wala pang experience getting an industrial partner, Paano sila, anong criteria na pwede nilang makita? Meron, ano bang skill set, anong competence yung pwede nilang uh, piliin para sa industrial partner nila? So, like for you, yung industrial partner mo siya nag-operate? Yes. Okay. Well, Unang-una so, dyan, okay. ano, kailangan may passion ka eh. Uh, whereas dun sa business namin in agriculture, halos lahat dyan is mga, mga senior na. Sila yung okay. mga ano eh. Sila talaga yung uh, merong uh, 
uh, passion, meron silang tinatawag namin, meron nga silang ano yung uh, uh, golden thumb, Mer- meron silang ano uh, love sa sa agriculture, magaling sila magtanim and uh, meron din silang ano background uh, on entrepreneurship din. Okay. So you, you need someone na uh, so kung magsa-start ka ng food be- business, dapat yung industrial partner mo either chef, either may, may restaurant na napatayo ganun. Yes. And then love nila yung uh, gusto the nila. Is there. Oh, okay. Pero pag ganun, how do you do it? Uh, may, may, may particular setup pa na may kailangan din ba sila na napasok na pera or dahil industrial partner, they just get shares tapos wala na silang kailangan ipasok. Ano yung normal rule of thumb doon, especially for mga kababayan sa atin na walang idea pa on how to do it? Yeah. Well, in our case, uh, as industrial partner, so they are there to uh, do the operation to, to utilize their expertise. And uh, kami naman is more on the, the financial side as well okay. as the management side. Uh... But of course, meron tayong mga ibang business setup na pwede rin na they can also uh, pledge something. They can okay. also uh, give uh, a portion, a percentage okay. of uh, some finances para kasi there should be uh, an accountability din. Eh. That's, mm. the, that's very important. So, so per your, your suggestion, kahit industrial partner, kailangan nila maglagay pa rin ng pera? Yeah, yeah as much okay. as possible. Like, uh, uh, in, in our case, uh, siguro, if not, uh, if not uh, financial, uh, sa agriculture, pwede rin uh, property. Uh, That's right, pwede rin property. Uh, okay. So, sure. para at least, para, kasi yung tama naman yun na baka tama rin sila kasi wala naman ako nilagay na pera, there's nothing at stake parang madali madali tama rin madali yeah. madistract pa- madali. para siyang ano eh parang luwalwas kumbaga employee mindset na uh, uh. I, uh, I'll be earning uh, on a monthly basis so wala siyang risk yeah, wala. Ah, so industrial yung so industrial partner meron din ba ano yung magandang iset na at least shares na yung stake niya sa company may, may threshold ba yun minimum number that you can give them maximum number that you can give them Mostly, uh, siguro para sa amin is uh, we're looking at around siguro one third of the, okay. of the business. Yun ay maximum. Maximum na dapat That's yun. That's the maximum oh, because of course the, the expertise and services will be done oh, locally oh. by them. Okay. Yeah. So one third. Tapos, pag ganun ba, are they required, since may shares naman na sila, are they required na magkaroon din ng sweldo or kahit wala na sila sweldo tapos they earn from dividends later on? Kasi I assume normally sa mga startups, no, majority of the people who are starting it, hindi nagpapasweldo, hindi muna sila sumisweldo, hindi sila tumatanggap na salary. Rule of thumb, do you have to give them salary or kita na lang din sila later on if the business does well? So, uh, sa planning pa lang, uh, doon pa lang meron na kaming common understanding that uh, uh, we have a stake here and then uh, in terms of the sa, sa sweldo, our arrangement is... Uh, we first have to focus on making the business profitable. Mm. So once na okay na, na set up na and everything and there will be a regular uh, flow uh, stream of income, then dun tayo papa, dun papasok yun yung in profit sharing. Okay. And okay. we try to make sure uh, and we, our goal is actually to make it uh, faster. Okay. To do it faster. So 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 dapat ganun din yung arrangement para mas maging profit kasi tama naman na pag pasweldo ka agad, syempre it becomes an expense for the business. So hindi masyadong uh, bawas, bawas, ano, bawas revenue then for the business. So, ganun yung suggestion mo na percentage and then uh, wala na munang salary and then later if the business becomes profitable then dun, dun sila babawi. Yes, that's why we mm. do recommend then especially mga aspiring of the OFW that wants to become an entrepreneur. Huwag kagad tayo 100% na mag-jump uh, being an entrepreneur. Uh, like like for us, uh, kumbaga yung isang pa lang muna namin yung nilagay namin dun sa nag-test the water muna kami. Mm. We're all, uh, we're still an employee here. And uh, later on, the, the transition uh, would come. Pero as yun, yung, yun yung maganda eh, kasi yeah. may, hindi, hindi ipit yung cash flow, meaning yes. you can still operate your life, may anak ka, mapapaaral mo pa rin sila. Pero the same way, uh, nakaka-practice ka na, gumagaling ka na, you're building the experience, na at the back of your head, hindi ka pa kinakaban, saan sa namin kukunin yung pangkain namin? And, and I guess that's the advantage of it. And what you've done is may partners kayo uh, and may kanya-kanyang expertise. Dun yes, sa, yes. Dun sa partnership na yun, dun sa corporation na yun. Pero napansin ko, sales heavy. <laughs> Lalakas yun sa sales guys. Kung meron man ako napansin dun sa ano nila, ang gagaling nila, lalo na yung Rick Nieva nila na partner, Ay, kahit, kahit bato, guys, kaya niyang, kaya niyang ibenta. So, Nagbenta ng electric pa niya sa Iceland. Talaga? Ang katindi. Oo, oh, ganun, ganun yung kalupit. How important is, kailangan may isang salesperson sa negosyo? Is that important? Kasi normally, may, yung nangyayari sa business, meron, kunyari, tech company. May isang magaling sa tech, may isang magaling sa finance. Tapos may how important na dapat yung third person magaling sa sales? Uh, because uh, if you want to uh, to be a successful entrepreneur, sales is very important. Mm. Okay, hindi lang kumbaga you're, you're uh, good uh, in technicals, you're good in finance, but you have to sell. You okay. have to sell your product, you have to sell your your uh, your services. So, dun sa case ng KD, um, para kaming small company, we, we do have our own rules. Like, 
meron kaming finance guy, meron kaming uh, operation, meron kaming management, meron kaming sales and marketing. So we hindi 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 rin siya nagka-class coach eh, na kumbaga uh, kanya-kanya kaming role and we we have uh, like uh, automatic system na, na ito yung gagawin ko. This is my role. So uh, that's why we try to uh, improve kumbaga yung uh, specialty namin. Like uh, for me I'm working as sales Uh, sales and marketing here in Dubai, so I'm using that. I'm using that as my advantage to uh, uh, to perform this uh, uh, this this task para dun sa akin. So so you suggest kung hindi ako magaling sa sales, uh, kuha ka na lang ng ma- mga ka partner or shareholder na magikasama nyo tapos sila mo kafocus sa sales. And the good thing is that hmm. pwede ka matuto don. Ah. That's why kahit yung mga iba kong partner ang gagaling na rin nila mag uh, mag mag sale. Okay. And that, uh, For me also, natututo rin ako about finances. Ganito pala yung uh, operation about sa finance. Ganito yung operation about dun sa mga technical. Okay. So, we learn from each other. So, by the way, guys, this is the Dubai Clock Tower. No, Clock Tower ba tawag Clock Tower, yeah. Clock Tower, yeah. So, we're back na in... Uh, we're back Lina. na in Deira. Yeah, we're close to the hotel. Uh, ito, you consider yourself a good salesperson? Uh... Ranking wise, sa company. Yeah. Ranking wise, uh, oh. for me, I can say that uh, my experience in sales is uh, around almost 18 years now. Okay, so magaling, magaling. So, uh, para sa akin, y- yun lang talaga yung ano, yun lang yung talaga yung naging work ko okay. the whole life, and uh, I'm trying to utilize that passion. I will put you in the spot. Sell me this bottle of water. <laughs> if you, if you, how will you sell this bottle of water to me right now? Elevator, go. Man. Yeah, this bottle of water dito sa Dubai usong-uso dito yung ano, yung sobrang taas nung nung iodines para dun sa uh, napaka-healthy nitong uh, bottle of water to low in sodium mm. and uh, dito uh, this is uh, around 1 ha- dirhams lang however other uh, 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 water companies other uh, uh, bottled water are around 5 to 10 mm. dirhams and this is one of the cheapest good uh, good for your health okay health benefits low in uh, low in iodine so this is uh, ve- low in sodium sorry so this is very very good for you okay. at the best price possible okay so on the spot yun dinya 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 alam yun na nag u turn ako so so anong ginawa mo doon you highlighted on the I, I yung, to, yung matutulong niya sa tao yeah siguro doon sa natutunan ko sa sales sa mm. uh, company sa experience ko you have to first highlight Uh, ano yung ano eh, uh, what are the three key, key benefits okay. and ano yung solution na may bibigay mo sa kanya you're, you're not going to highlight like 10 specification of that product mm-hmm. only three key points at ano yung para sa kanila ano yung value added mm-hmm. na, na, na matutulong nila sa'yo okay. the rest wala na siguro yung, ibang, yung customer wala na silang pakilam they don't want to hear that but yung mag-struck sa emotion nila na this is very important to me because of this then I think that is one of the key selling points nung may sinabi ka na uh, eto one dirham lang to yung sa iba five yeah. dollars ba- bakit Bakit mo, siya ginawa sa, bakit mo siya ginawa sa huli? Yeah, so kasi pricing is uh, also very important. So uh, so we also need to highlight that uh, mura tong produkto mo and this is competitive. Mm-hmm. Competitive but we're not uh, dev- uh, devaluing the quality. Okay. Quality is there. To end, kung in potential investor ako ng KD Ventures na Dragon Fruit, how will you pitch KD to me in one minute? Go! Yeah, KD AgriVenture is not only focusing on products and selling and farming. Mm. Okay, we are here to uh, uh, bring home our uh, OFW, our Kababayans back home. Okay. Because of our reintegration program by uh, creating a huge variety of opportunities for starting with the dragon fruit, uh, going down, drilling down to the byproducts of the dragon fruit. Okay, as well as the export opportunity and for you, you can become an entrepreneur. Later on, you can become a business partner. You you will have, you will own your own uh, dragon fruit farm. We can be partners later on and dito natin ma-feel talaga na we are all uh, moving out from employee becoming an entrepreneur. So yung, yung pinaka-pitch nyo doon is hindi lang sila magiging investor doon but later they can be they'll be our business partner business part and they have exposure to I guess agriculture as well yeah. so ayun it's nice to have stories like this no kasi uh, sabi na no start empleyado siya dito pero you have to understand this do not limit yourself to one source of income I may talk a lot about the stock market please but please remember this it's not just about having one source of income it's about having multiple streams of income and you can do that while you're here in Dubai sayang eh. do not waste this opportunity while you are making more here in Dubai As compared to employment income in the Philippines, you have to utilize what you have to make your money grow. And sayang, while you are in the prime of your years, while you are at the most productive, you have to use that. Like what he is doing, Pablo is already 
40? 30 cent? <laughs> <laughs> less, less than 40. Less than 40. But yung, yung key point doon is, bata pa eh. Malaki pa yung ability to make money. Malaki pa yung ability to work. Pag 60 na kayo, 65 na kayo, 70 na kayo, hindi nyo na magagawa yun. You cannot work as hard, that hard anymore. And I encourage you, do not limit your source. Do not limit your channel to just one. Habang nagtatrabaho kayo, get a side hustle, get a side gig, then invest also, start building as much businesses as you can. Kaya, para maging, katulad ni Pablo Santos, guys, humble lang pero guys, lumalang yung sa pero. Bihira kayo, oh, bihira kayo makita, guys. Di, di ko alam kung napansin nyo to, naka Land Cruiser tayo, naka Lacoste, na polo shirt siya. You won't see it. Humble lang yun, na mga simpleng, simpleng hum, idol, humble idol. moves. Simpleng humble moves, but you want to see more Filipinos be financially free as well. And yeah. yun yung goal na tong video na to. Okay, last. Any encouragement for Filipinos na natakot magnegosyo habang nasa Dubai sila na hindi tingin nila hindi nila kaya yung skills nila wala doon. Go. Okay, uh, this is a very good chance for us uh, to to really because sa, sa atin kasi we have to take risk. In life you need to take risk. Hindi pwedeng uh, kumbaga dito if you're going to take risk then uh, may fall baka kasi you're still working, right? And the good thing is that uh, ano rin to eh, parang uh, sweet spot na rin natin to na the, the exchange rate the uh, exchange rate ngayon uh, peso dirham is still better okay? oh, so we have, we have lots of, ano, eh, lots of uh, disposable income to utilize pwede mo siyang ilagay sa investment pwede mo siyang itry sa, sa business right? the most important thing is of course you should also build yung emergency fund mo at saka yung para dun sa family mo but uh, good chance we have to take risk uh, we have to take calculated risk paano natin gagawin yan? we have to invest in knowledge muna pag-aralan muna natin hindi yung papasok agad tayo sa isang bagay na hindi natin alam right? so uh, let's uh, sh uh, sh uh, sharpen the, the saw let's uh, improve our skills we, we, we can learn uh, uh, different skills kasi kailangan natin yan sa ano if you want to become an entrepreneur right? hindi lang sa sales you have to know the, the whole ecosystem, uh, marketing, uh, finance, operation, you have to know. And focus is the most important thing. You need to focus on that, uh, uh, that your goal. Like, kung, kung dragon fruit, kung farming, just focus on it, enhan en enhance your, your knowledge on that. And then, doon ka mag-build ng empire mo from, from, that, uh, from that starting point. Right. Again, I hope this video helps you. We try to fit feature people who are not just making it but they like to share because eh, madaming tao kumikita ng pera but they don't like to share what they know so I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart, trade smart. Marvin from with Pablo Santos from Deira Dubai see you all again soon guys and see you. God bless you